Well, Netflix just released a trailer for an upcoming show called Atypical, which is about a teenage boy with autism. It's somewhere on the spectrum. It's a bit vague in the trailer itself. I trust the show will be more accurate, but um, now, um, as Sam some of you might know, uh, I've said it a few times in there, I am uh, somewhere on the spectrum myself, and there's been a lot of talk in the last couple years about how the entertainment industry needs to start being more diverse and inclusive and like start hiring more people of different races, more women, more gay people, what have you. And uh, as your basic white guy, I was in support of that stuff, but at the same time, it felt kind of awkward to make a big deal out of me saying things about that. But this is a case where I have skin in the game, so to speak. So um, I felt I should say something about it now. Now, the first thing you should know is uh, my exact thing has never been officially diagnosed. I was whacked in the head as a kid, it made me different, and that is really all I want to know about it. Like, um, it took a while, but I've reached a place where I'm comfortable with who I am, and uh, who I might have been if that didn't happen really does not matter. So. Um, that um, is um, what you should know going into this, uh, like just if you're going to pay attention to me at all. Now, about the show, I watched the trailer and I do have a, a couple concerns. Now, I do have absolute trust that the people making the show went into it with the best intentions in the world. They wanted to give um, attention to a type of person who does not appear at all in fiction that much these days, and they wanted to, it to be respectful. And I am sure that they're going to try to do their best with that. The problem is this is a very tricky area to get right, mostly because uh, there's a reason they call it the autism spectrum. This isn't something um, like uh, say, uh, paraplegia, where everyone is pretty much uh, the same symptoms and, and like the same conditions. Um, everyone uh, on the spectrum is their own unique case study, and uh, you're not going to find anything that applies equally to them all. Like they have uh, different things out of the ordinary with them. Uh, they'll respond better to different treatments and um, so um, you're not going to see something from me that is an absolute authority on uh, someone like the person in this show. Now, for one thing, uh, from what I can tell by uh, the trailer, uh, the show is going to focus mostly on him trying to have sex. And I'm asexual, whether that's something I was born with or the result of the injury, I'll never know. But it does mean that this kind of stuff uh, very rarely interests me. I can appreciate uh, when a romantic story is well told, but uh, I don't uh, really care much about it. And if the show is going to focus on it as much as the trailer suggests, uh, this is going to be a bit of a bumpy road uh, watching the show. But um, hopefully it isn't. I've definitely seen my share of trailers that blew jokes out of proportion. And I'm hoping that's what this is at this point. Um, more troubling for me is that the jokes that are in here, from what we can see, um, uh, basically put us in the point of view of uh, this guy's family more than uh, the actual uh, kid uh, with autism himself, which very much um, invites the audience to keep viewing him as this mysterious other who they have to kind of uh, walk on pins and needles around. And if you're going to center a show around someone like him, you really need to uh, make an effort, at least, to get inside his head. Like I just said, uh, there's uh, no one uh, right way to do that, but um, you can definitely do a bit of a better job than I'm seeing so far. Some of the best that I've seen of this are the new show Speechless that started last year about a kid with cerebral palsy. 
and uh, Walter White uh, Jr. from Breaking Bad, who um, are both, um, what, uh, imagine this, played by people who have the same conditions as the characters. And uh, the kid playing uh, the role in Atypical does not have autism, as far as I can tell. I've done some research. There is not that much out there yet. But um, he seems to just be this very neurotypical guy. And uh, that is uh, really the wrong foot to start out with here. Uh, the show's creator also had some of her most um, uh, well-known work previously on Will and Grace, which I definitely remember being well accepted at the time, uh, just for being one of the few places where you could see a, a, genu a, a gay character, even if they were played by straight actors. But its uh, reputation has really suffered in recent years uh, as kind of uh, the gay equivalent of a minstrel show. You have these uh, very campy guys like prancing around, and that's all played for laughs, not ironically at all. And um, I can only hope she's learned from that reaction and she's paid attention to it and makes steps to avoid the same mistakes here. But uh, I'm not really getting my hopes up about that because um, the old Chinese proverb, if you don't expect anything, you can't be disappointed. So um, I'm going to check the show out when it's released, uh, at least for a few episodes. Um, if I don't like what I'm seeing by that point, I'll stop. But I am cautiously optimistic. Um, I do think that stuff like this needs to be given a shot, at, at the very least, so we can get to more things like it, maybe things uh, that are um, better at portraying uh, what this is really like, because... I would uh, very much like to see this become more normalized and uh, maybe open up more understanding to people like this kid in the show and people like me. And um, I uh, will uh, see you all uh, when it comes out and I'll have more to say. I hope uh, that this is worthwhile to at least some of you.